This is an exhibition by Xu Jin, who's a Chinese artist based in Shanghai. Uh, and this is the James Cohan Gallery, and I am James Cohan. I think it's interesting to note that Xu Zhen is a, is a complicated artist who is uh, really a conceptual artist in that he makes many different bodies of work over the last seven, eight years. The exhibition really addresses the issues of um, desire. And desire takes various forms. And one is pain and one might be pleasure. And so how he addresses that is in this instance with Under Heaven, which is a series of paintings that um, are drippingly attractive. I mean, almost so seductive and so um, inviting that they are like confections. Both a, a kind of a thing about drawing in the buyer and drawing in the, the, the viewer as to make something so attractive that it almost hurts your teeth. On the other hand, he's talking about the mechanisms of desire. He's introducing us into this, that we see that we're being sucked in by it. So it's a very clever situation that he's introducing a, a variety of approaches. The, the video from 1998 called Rainbow depicts the artist being slapped on the back very aggressively. You do not see the hand. You hear the hand striking the back and you see the result. And the coloration of the back becomes more and more dramatically uh, modulated and, and red and kind of uh, highlights that idea of rainbow. So it's rainbow as in you know, the beauty of rainbow, but then on the other hand, the pain that it took to produce that rainbow. So he's, he's always working with that kind of duality, which I think is super interesting, which is the duality that you have here that is about, you know, desire, but it's also saying, oh my God, I'm suspicious of this. It's almost too beautiful. There's definitely a consciousness of the fact that he is a Chinese artist. He is someone who is interested in working with that notion of the factory, much like Andy Warhol did with his factory. And that there is a company surrounding this artist that is creating a cultural brand. It's, it's a very direct admission that it takes a collection of people to create this work and that it is about the collective idea of culture and its production and its sale into the world. He is an international artist who happens to live in China. And what interests me the most about this artist is his ability to move from idea to idea, which then generates very different looking art. It is a great challenge to do that and to do it successfully, but over the last seven to eight years, he has done so.